friends how are you so welcome to bajus exam prep and today we are going to see a topic that is non destructive test so warm welcome to this morning session so if you are able to hear me you can once write in the comment section sir yes sir you are able to hear so welcome saurabh sri and vishal okay so hope you all have your breakfast and your morning coffee i also was having coffee actually <laughs> so you can also have coffee <laughs> so i was thinking let us have some coffee and then we will take the class okay so nice so welcome uh, siddharth also welcome nice so uh, this is the lecture on non destructive uh, tests on concrete famously known as what ndt we will have two tests we will study two tests okay we will study two tests and uh, first we will discuss the concepts and then we will have what mcqs also then we will have mcqs also okay so this is a short introduction about myself uh, myself satyaji sahu and i have done my btech and mtech from iit khadakpur okay uh, let us come to this uh, two testing two ndt we will see okay what is this first of all ndt so non destructive test this is what non destructive test means what we are not destroying the concrete means what suppose you are finding the compressive strength of concrete uh, out by cube testing so what you do basically you destroy it right <laughs> you destroy it so when uh, uh, you apply load at certain point what will happen it will you know destroy it because there will be damage permanent damage or you are testing the flexural strength of a beam or tensile strength of a beam then also what you do you do by two point method so there also what happens the beam is eventually destroyed right yes so this test is what yes we are not destroying the concrete okay okay it is uh, not destructive means we are not destroying it will exist so we can do it on the real structures right we can do it on the real structures so in this we have two famous test that is what your ultrasonic the first one is ultrasonic velocity test the first one is ultrasonic velocity test and the second one is what rebound hammer test second one is what rebound hammer test in recent times in many examination they are asking the questions from ndt and especially these two test so we'll explore these two test so let us start the session okay okay so first one is ultrasonic pulse velocity test ultrasonic pulse velocity test now what we do in this and what is the principle behind that and which code is used and what are the conclusions of the code let us understand them one by one okay so first of all this is concrete this is concrete so what we do here we pass ultrasonic pulse what we do we pass ultrasonic pulse through concrete we pass ultrasonic pulse through concrete okay so we need pulse generator and devices to transmit them now we are not uh, as civil engineers our job is not to understand how they are uh, uh, how the signal is passed how it is received that is different business ours is what is the end result of that particular test we are more interested in that okay so don't go into the device so much more focus on what the results of the test the results are more important so what we do here we are passing a pulse okay we are passing a pulse from one transducer to the other transducer right now the velocity of the pulse the velocity of the pulse will be what it will be the distance divided by time right the distance divided by time now this time for the signal to reach from here to here will depend on the concrete quality right it will depend on the concrete quality and what and i can say the presence of defects in the concrete yes if there are defects then time taken will be uh, relatively less if there is uh, not defect then there will be more resistance and i can say the opposite we can say that when there is defects then the velocity will be less when there is non defect then it will easily pass right it is more homogeneous it will easily pass so this velocity of pulse yes 
through this particular uh, concrete that will decide the quality of concrete that will decide the quality of concrete so if we have two quad concrete you can say this is high quality concrete this is low quality means what here we have defect here we have defect and what will happen the velocity will vary so what is written here the velocity of pulse of compression waves okay passing through the concrete depends on the concrete properties and i can write down your and quality and quality okay now this uh, ultrasonic pulse velocity test it is conducted h per which code it is conducted h per is 13311 part 1 so this might be an objective question in the examination right that ultrasonic pulse velocity test is h per which code is very easy to remember 1 Double three, double one, and it's part one. It is very important because there's a part two also. We'll see part two. What is part two? We'll see later. But there's a part two also. Okay. So this deals with what the ultrasonic pulse velocity test. Okay. So now you can see this is a um, real uh, test. You can see this is a concrete slab. Yes, concrete slab or concrete surface. You can see. so here you can see that we have two transducers and the signal will originate from here and end here right so from this the velocity of pulse from this the velocity of pulse will be calculated and based on that there will be classification of the concrete sir can we choose home center that is your choice na <laughs> that is your choice what you want to choose who am i to decide <laughs> you go and ask isro <laughs> if the center is there then you can choose if center is not there then you cannot choose obviously what kind of <laughs> silly question is this <laughs> okay so as i told that this concrete quality and you have come here to ask this doubt or you have come to study <laughs> you have come here to ask this such have you come to study or you have come to ask such kind of doubts for such kind of doubts you can visit isro's website things are available there okay now coming here okay so you see the pulse velocity pulse velocity as i discussed if it is above 4.5 means what greater than 4.5 then it is regarded as what excellent quality and this is very important slide okay it is very important okay questions can be asked from here so if it is more than 4.5 watt you see it is kilometer per second then it is excellent then it is 3.5 to 4.5 it is considered as good okay good morning good morning if it is between 3 to 3.5 medium and then less than 3 it is doubtful or poor i can say doubtful or poor some books also right poor so this classification is very important they might ask questions from this right this is very important slide so based on the pulse velocity the concrete grading is done even they can ask a question right that uh, in ultrasonic pulse velocity test the gradation of concrete is based on what is based on the pulse velocity and some if i ask a question that as the pulse velocity increases as the pulse velocity increases concrete quality tell me what's the answer to this as the pulse velocity increases concrete quality what is what will the answer to this tell me in the comment section if the pulse velocity increases what will be the i will have some coffee by that time yes it is increasing right so such kind of objective questions can be asked in the examination such kind of objective questions can be asked in the examinations so you have to see them in details now another aim of your ultrasonic pulse velocity test is to find out the dynamic modulus of elasticity see we know the um, modulus of elasticity of concrete as what 5000 root fck right it is what 5000 root fck now this is the short term and long term is what long term is 5000 root fck divided by what 1 plus 5 where 5 is the creep coefficient now this is what this is for static loading this is for what static loading 
For dynamic loading, the modulus of elasticity of concrete will be different and that is determined by what? This ultrasonic pulse velocity test. So that is also given in the code IS13311 and they can ask a question on this. So this dynamic uh, modulus of elasticity, dynamic modulus of elasticity is what? It is the density into a function which depends on the dynamic Poisson's ratio. What is this formula? 1 plus mu then 1 minus 2 mu and then divided by 1 minus mu. You can see this entire thing inside bracket it depends on mu right yes and this mu is dynamic Poisson's ratio okay and then pulse velocity square. So this can be written as what? This can be written as rho yes it's a function of mu right it's a function of mu and then v square. So this formula can also be asked in the examination and this is what this is that function of mu what is that 1 plus mu then 1 minus 2 mu divided by what 1 minus mu okay so this question can be asked in the examination they have already asked in ESC once okay they can repeat it again okay now you see what I told about this mu this mu is the dynamic Poisson's ratio this is what dynamic Poisson's ratio. Now this dynamic Poisson's ratio is normally more than the static Poisson's ratio. The static Poisson's ratio of concrete it ranges something between you know 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 but this dynamic one it ranges differently. So dynamic one ranges from 0.2 to 0.3 so they can ask this question okay. You see all small small questions from the code right. All these small small questions they are asking in the examination and we feel that is, is something from different planet. <laughs> no, they are not asking from different planet. They are asking from IS code only. <laughs> but we don't know that which IS code what. Therefore, we face difficulty. So, you can see that is dynamic, visco uh, dy not viscosity I told by mistake I might have told viscosity sometime. <laughs> the not dynamic viscosity, dynamic Poisson's ratio. It ranges from 0.2 to 0.35 with an average value of what? With an average value of your point 0.24. Now these questions can be asked in the examination. Now you see another thing. So the code also gives a formula to find out this uh, function depending on mu. What is written? It is 2 n L by B whole square. 2 n L by B whole square. What is the meaning of this? That means this function or what was the function? 1 plus mu then 1 minus 2 mu divided by 1 minus mu this was the function that is equal to 2 n l by b whole square okay by b whole square now what is this uh, n it is the frequency it is the frequency in cycles per second cycles per second is what actually hertz na? yes and then l is the length of specimen right the length means from where to where you are measuring and sending the signal right now for example if I say suppose uh, I want to calculate I calculated the V suppose you calculated the V okay suppose V you are getting suppose V you are getting 4.5 kilometer per second okay 4.5 kilometer per second but in the formula you see it is written mean meter per second so if you are getting in kilometer per second you have to convert into what meter per second okay you have to convert into what meter per second okay and suppose the frequency is 3.5 kilohertz 3.5 kilohertz is what 3500 hertz right suppose this is just an example this is not standard value and just as an example suppose this is the case can you find out mu from this and length of specimen is suppose 600 mm okay so can you find out the uh, mu from this yes can you find out it becomes complicated right but you can find it from you know excel excel or from the code you can find out so those people who are doing research they do this suppose i tell you suppose i tell you that mu is suppose i tell you that mu is equal to 0 0.22 now can you find out v tell me if i give you the mu value can you find out the v yes you can find out the v you see if mu is this you have to find out the v okay let us find out the v tell me solve this n is equal to 3500 hertz 
and L is equal to 600 mm or I can say 0 0.6 meter, right? Suppose I am taking 0 0.6 meters. You see, what are the units you see? Here it written, see V is in meter per second, it's okay. And then rho is in kilo, kilogram per meter cube. Here you can see L is in meter it is told and N is in hertz, cycles per second. So can you give me the V value from this? Solve this and tell me, find V, chalo, find V. Now the answer you will get will be in meter per second, right? Yes. The answer you will get is in meter per second to convert into what kilometer per second or kilometer per second afterwards. But from this formula, what you will get is in meter per second. So find out the answer. Solve this. Tell me the answer. I'll have coffee by that. <laughs> Getting 8.94. Hmm? Hmm? See this, see it is square, you have to take square root of that, na? I think, no, you have to take square root of something, let me see, let me calculate, others also please calculate, because this question I just framed randomly, <laughs> this question I just framed randomly, others also please solve, everybody solve. Okay, so 1.22 into 0.56 divided by 0.78. Okay, I'll take a square root of this. Hey, why are this not doing? Huh? Why are this not doing? Everybody do please. Hmm, I'll take a square root of this. Okay. Okay. You know we have done one mistake. No, no, we have not done any mistake. It's correct. It's correct only. Correct only. Yeah, yeah. Then uh, he will be equal to two n l divided by this point nine three six. Two n. I am getting 4487, I am getting V is equal to 4487.2 meter per second. Why you are getting such answers? <laughs> you will get around 4.5, you can say 4.5 kilometer per second, right? You will get 4.5 kilometer per second, yes, understood. You will get four, almost close to 4.5 kilometer per second. You can see this question can be asked in the examination. This question can be asked in the examination. Such kind of questions can be asked in the examination. So see, theoretical questions they will ask. Obviously, they will ask theoretical question. Along with that, they can ask numerical also. You see, this is a question from EAC 2019. They have asked the formula, you see. They have asked the formula. <laughs> but they did a mistake. <laughs> they asked the formula. <laughs> they forgot to put a square here. It was a printing mistake. <laughs> you see. What is the formula here? It is, you see, this is equal to uh, f of mu. f of mu is what? 1 plus mu, then 1 minus 2 mu, divided by 1 minus mu. So, if you reverse it, so what will happen? V by 2, and when you take a reciprocal, this is equal to 1 minus mu by 1 plus mu into 1 minus 2 mu, right? And this is the formula, you see here, you see? So here, this is the right answer, but they just forgot to, or typing mistake or something. They have asked the formula, right? they are not asked a numerical, but they have asked a formula. And this is from where? This is from your IS 13113, 13311 part 1. Understood? So such kind of questions they have asked, already asked in the EAC and they can ask because this is very predominantly used nowadays. So since it is predominantly used nowadays, we should know. Okay. Now, this was the first test and whatever was required, we studied. Let us go to the next test. The next test is what? The next test is uh, rebound hammer test. But before that, what are the application of this ultrasonic pulse velocity test? For quality var variation of concrete, you can understand the quality variation. You can understand the thickness variation. We will understand surface crack depth and then homogeneity of concrete. So all these things can be found out using what? 
ultrasonic constant and I can say I will add one here to find what your dynamic E right your dynamic modulus of velocity of concrete this is also one of the we can say applications and actually from here only we can judge the other things like you know what is the crack depth thickness variation quality variation homogeneity okay now see this thing is that bonus or not Hi, it, it, everybody got marks and that's a bad luck but thing is that we should we should be ready for correct questions also every time there won't be a printing mistake now <laughs> yes okay now coming to this rebound hammer test the second uh, uh, non-destructive test and this is given in the part two as i told part one deals with uh, part one deals with what part one deals with um, this uh, ultrasonic pulse test so part two deals with what part two deals with your uh, rebound hammer test it is taken from smith hammer test so from him it was, it was uh, you can say adopted in indian codes you can see here we have this rebound hammer this is what rebound hammer okay now this rebound hammer is based on a spring mass model so it has a spring mass model so what you do it has a spring so what do you do so it has a spring like this i will just draw inside it i will give the diagram also don't worry spring is there so when you press it against the when you press it against the hardened concrete surface like this you see then what will happen when you release it it will rebound right that happens with spring right <laughs> spring mass system it happens with the spring mass system now the amount of rebound the amount of rebound of this particular rebound hammer that will depend on what that will depend on the concrete surface right or i can say hardness of concrete right it that will depend on what the hardness of concrete and hardness of concrete will decide what the quality of concrete yes so from the amount of rebound the hardness of concrete is just okay so let us see so assessing the likely compressive strength of concrete so we find out the compressive strength of concrete see hardness of concrete will be depending on what compressive strength and quality of concrete right so we find out the compressive strength of concrete based on what this rebound so assessing the likely compressive strength of concrete with the help of suitable correlations between what the rebound index or number this rebound index number is what it is the amount it is a way to denote what the amount of rebound so there are correlations between what the amount of rebound and the compressive strength and that will also decide what the uniformity of concrete and also to compare the quality of one concrete to other concrete yes so I can say we are judging the hardness of concrete and the strength of concrete, compressive strength based on what? The amount of rebound. So what is written? When the plunger of the rebound hammer is pressed against the surface as we described, you know, when the plunger, this is the plunger, this is the plunger, when it is pressed against the surface, what is happening? The spring controlled mass rebounds, obviously to rebound. And the extent of such rebound depends on the surface hardness of concrete. The surface hardness, therefore, the rebound is taken to be related to the compressive strength of concrete. Everybody understood this particular concept? Okay. So, no need to remember so many things. Okay. You have to just remember the key points. You have to remember the key points. So, here we have a rebound number which depends on the hardness and the compressive strength. Okay. Now, tell me. If more is the re okay, let me let me show, show, show some more diagrams. Okay, now the impact energy which you are giving to the rebound hammer, how much impact energy you have to give, that is also decided by the code. For normal testing, you have to give a energy of how much? 2.25 newton meter. Okay, now for uh, uh, testing mass concreting like roads, air, air field pavements, you have to give a very large of what? 30 Newton meter. But normally, we in our day to day structures, we are not seeing this. So, you could remember at least this one. This can be asked in the examination as a factual question, right? That how much energy is given 
or impact energy is given the rebound hammers in case of your normal testing on normal normal weight concrete that is 2.25 newton meter they can ask this question okay next question so you can see this is the principle you can see that you are pressing it you see the spring is going inside right the spring is going inside then what will happen there it will rebound right then it will rebound simple okay same diagram okay now you see this is a more closer diagram you can see here what has happened here you know a number you can see here there is a marker right and from here you are getting what you are getting a rebound number you are getting a rebound index or your rebound number okay now how it is correlated that is not given in the code that they have told many complicated things see other codes also give uh, direct relationship between what rebound index number and the compressive strength but since is code has not given so we will not discuss that okay see in the, if you google search it you might get some table but those tables are from different codes or some books they are not from is code so is code has not mentioned anything about this they have given a complicated method to correlate that is lot of statistics is involved so we will not go into the correlation but yes now tell me if the rebound number is more so the, what can you say about the compressive strength of concrete if the rebound number is more then what you can say about the compressive strength of concrete please tell if the rebound number is more then what you can say about the compressive strength of concrete please write in the comment section yeah it will increase more yes more common sense if it is more strong obviously you will press it so it will rebound more understood very simple yes so this was all about what the two mostly asked uh, test that is what so what you have to study in this thing so ultrasonic velocity test pulse velocity test so this much you have to study see we have to understand we have to study always the key points see we have to study in details obviously i always tell that you have to study in details like the way i taught now see now also half an hour we studied in details so we have to study in details but not remember everything okay not remember everything we have to remember the key points the key points like right? here we remember that we have a rebound number which comes from where from uh, the mass spring system and that related to the compressive strength and they can ask the working principle the working principle is what spring controlled mass rebounds and which depends on what the rebound depends on the surface hardness of concrete and is related to what to the compressive strength so such kind of important key points you have to remember or they can ask this table so this table you have to remember okay and then when we discussed about the uh, ultrasonic pulse velocity test there is formula for what dynamic uh, uh, modulus of velocity that they can ask okay all these formulas they can ask so that also we saw so whatever is given in the code we are discussing that see apart from code like what happens is that we have american codes also we have british codes also yes so some books or some websites they give reference to those codes also okay but uh, we don't have to follow those tables they will not ask those tables right if you are preparing for examination in india then obviously they are not going to ask the tables of american codes or british codes so i am giving you a suggestion that whenever you are studying building material steel structures or any any even uh, environment engineering also in environment engineering all the tests which are conducted like alkalinity or uh, finding um, dissolved oxygen or something all these are based on some test and that test will be given where is code na yes or no that will be there will be some is code for that yes so whenever a doubt comes to your mind you can refer that is code but many times what students do is that they refer to websites and why to refer to websites there is an is code there na be an engineer open the code website is there any uh, is there any authenticity guarantee of that website tell me na is there any guarantee of the authenticity or whatever they are claiming is there any authenticity guarantee it might be correct it might not be correct 
it might be correct it might not be correct okay so all so therefore you have to refer what is code so in case of any doubt arises in your mind while studying is uh, like you, you saw like uh, last uh, two three classes i took on uh, hydration of cement even slum test vv uh, test everywhere i have referred is code everywhere i have referred is code so you always any doubt appears in your mind google it uh, open the is code and then read from the is code okay you can read from the is code right uh, you are competent enough to read okay is code is not that complicated thing is that we we don't follow it so that is our problem that we don't follow we don't open it yes so my suggestion is that in future the, see the, now why i taught like this to make you an idea that how to study building material how to study this class this oh, this uh, type of subjects or this type of topics so when you're studying such kind of topics always first search is there any is code associated with that all these things I have taken from IS code. You see, this language is from IS code only. This is language from IS code. All these are these are all screenshot of IS code only. This is the IS code. Okay. Directly I have opened the IS code. I have taken a screenshot and put here. Okay. Now this language also is from IS code. All this language is from IS code only. Okay. So I have referred all IS code things. Okay. So now let us solve some objective questions. Okay. Let us solve some objective questions. So first question is this. Answer this. Answer this very easy question. <laughs> very easy question. Answer this. What is the answer to this? Hmm. Yeah, the answer is rebound number displayed on the hammer. The rebound number which is displayed on the ham hammer that leads to what the compressive strength okay now answer this the ultrasonic pulse velocity is primarily is primarily primarily sorry <laughs> sorry for the mispronunciation primarily used for what so see other options are also partially correct but what is the main the prime reason the prime reason Ah, here also the answer is presence of defects. Defects will change the pulse velocity. Defects or quality. Quality is decided over defects. Okay, so that change the pulse velocity. See such kind of questions they will ask. And you see these questions are not taken from some previous year. In this whole building material, if you see, sorry, three sessions I took, I seldom take from previous year. I teach all the important things. And then previous year automatically fits into what? One of those things, right? Yes or no? So I teach what is required. And the previous year questions are from there. So it's like, you know, what I teach and this is previous year. Understood? So previous year is a part of it. So if they ask you previous year, you can easily answer. If they ask you something outside the previous year, then also you can easily answer. Yes? Very nice. Let us go to the next question. Answer this. Rebound hammer test is performed by. What is the answer to this? Yes, the answer is striking the concrete surface with a spring loaded hammer right spring loaded hammer the dynamic modulus of elasticity of concrete is typically measured using again very straightforward question the dynamic modulus of elasticity of concrete is typically measured using what the dynamic modulus of elasticity of concrete is typically measured using what yes ultrasonic pulse velocity test Okay. Okay. The dynamic modulus of elasticity of concrete is expressed in units of what? <laughs> the dynamic modulus of elasticity of concrete is expressed in units of what? What is the unit of this? Ah. 
answers others or it is mega pascal it's mega pascal even if you don't know it's mega pascal okay see this is also correct newton per meter square is also correct because newton per meter square is also stress stress unit okay but more correct is your first one see we'll go to the slide and then from common sense also we can judge see here what is dynamic dynamic young's modulus of velocity in mpa so in the formula it gives in mpa okay and anyhow try to understand e will be always e will always have unit of stress na see what is stress stress is modulus of elasticity into strain yes strain has no unit so e will have the same unit as stress yes so stress unit if you see there are two two units here mega pascal and newton per square meter both are correct actually but mega pascal is more correct because that is how we express the modulus of elasticity understood okay next question okay for pulse velocity of 3.2 km per second concrete quality at per is 13311 part 1 is i told that they can ask questions from the table right they can ask questions from the table so what is the answer to this you might have forgotten the table but still just uh, yes medium good c okay the answer is medium so you have to remember the table okay you have to remember this table to answer this is factual question this is factual question so you have to remember okay so this table you have to remember so between you see 3 to 3.5 3.2 is between what 3 to 3.5 so we have your medium quality yes table you have to remember now you see for a poisson's ratio of 0.2 the factor function of mu used in calculation of dynamic modulus of concrete is what for this you need to remember the formula right <laughs> for this you have to remember the formula what was the formula you can remember you see 1 plus mu 1 minus mu you can remember like this 1 plus mu 1 minus mu and then 1 minus 2 mu okay this is the function right 1 plus mu 1 minus mu into 1 minus 2 mu you can remember in this way so this is what 1.2 By point eight, right, and then into what? Into point six. So answer is what? Answer is point nine. Yes. You see, we solve theoretical questions also. They can ask numericals also like this. This, this, all these questions can be asked. You see. So this is the formula, and from here you can ask. So we have to understand this thing that. in the examination they are not only going to ask from the static in static means whatever is asked you just study that you remember no they ask lot of other things also and therefore you might have faced this difficulty that whenever you are solving questions of building material either you forget the answer or they will ask something new yes that happens and therefore when you are study building material you have to study in this manner you cannot just solve some previous or question and think that you know you will remember everything it's not possible not understand also okay and it's not a good way of learning also so whenever you are studying a topic study like this in study like this okay and if it is some test if it is some test then best is what tell me if it is some test then best is what if it is a test then what what you should do in case of any confusions or uh, you are thinking what you have to see what is ah uh, video is fine <laughs> video dekho <laughs> sab video dekhega <laughs> video dekh na video dekh ke kya karega in the exam they will ask you video they are asking you tables and all so from where you can see that tables and procedure from where you can see from where you can see ha from where you can see what is the source what should be your source of knowledge is code yes the source of knowledge should be always is code i am telling you the source of knowledge call lab technician you see here this this was not funny is it call lab technician okay you were you were having some serious preparation you will call lab technician don't do this kind of nonsense huh? it is some serious preparation is going on if you want to do this uh, comedy then go to your college 
in college you do comedy after four years uh, your course your your degree will be a comedy okay so please don't do this kind of uh, jokes i don't like such jokes okay so if you have any confusion you should refer is code okay for any confusion is code we have like an uh, graduate okay we have like graduate we have like a serious uh, aspirant okay see if you are not serious for your preparation you are just you know as a maza masti chal raha hai to nahi hoga and somebody will tell sa thoda maza masti to chalta hai are chalta hai but thing is that i was telling something serious na so and the teacher is serious at least you be serious okay don't do such kind of jokes okay so now you have to say any in, in test anything you have doubt uh, it's okay no problem i i told for your betterment okay so in case of any doubt you refer what is code okay or either you refer is code okay either you refer is code or learn from a teacher learn from a teacher who is referring is code yes or no teacher who is referring is code who is teaching from is code right who is teaching or referring is code so either you learn yourself no problems in that learn yourself from is code in case of any confusion if you are facing then you can do this or if you are then if suppose some students will tell sir samajh mein nahi aata is code mujhe samajh mein nahi aata it is perfectly fine it happens many times it happens that we are unable to understand the is code in that case what you do you then can learn from a teacher from some video or something where he or she is referring to is code okay referring to is code very important otherwise we might study useless things see either there are two things one thing we might study the wrong thing that is one possibility the second possibility is what we study correct things only but it is not required because in the examination they are going to ask from where from is code only na understood this point or not understood this point or not that either they are going to ask questions either that either you are studying something which is wrong from random sources or you might be studying something which is correct but not required for the examination that is also very important in pursuit of knowledge in pursuit of knowledge we should not study a uh, things which are not relevant to the examination and as far as as far as esc examination or state examinations are concerned they are going to ask questions from is codes okay they are going to ask questions from is code okay like you see here whatever whatever we discussed all these are given in the is code like this even this previous or question also it was a printing mistake that's a different thing <laughs> it was a printing that's that's the, that's the uh, printing mistake is not the uh, we can say mistake of the examiner it was the mistake of the typist and then the person who has uh, uh, finalized the question paper the, the examiner would have given you know correct question only right yes so if you see the examiner's uh, approach what they have given they have directly taken from what is code so they are going to ask you things from is code only okay so hope this i, I was repeating this uh, thing i i was code again and again because to make you people also read is code you can also open the is code start reading don't fear it many times what happens we feel are samajh mein nahi aayega itna are koshish to karo you give it try na why you are accepting your defeat or you are thinking that you are a fool before you have attempted it you are not fool you are you are quite educated you are quite learned you know how to read and write okay spend some time if you find difficult in understanding some word refer dictionary ye har cheez mein koi aake mujhe baby ki tarah spoon feed kyu karwayega samajh jao na you all are graduates you all are done your plus 2 okay then engineering many are pass out also many might be third year second year fourth year so you are competent enough competent enough to learn from the code or if you face difficulty you can refer dictionary or at ex, you know phir bhi nahi hua to kisi teacher se padho from teacher who is referring to is code like this okay okay now if you are attending my full courses on the bajus exam prep app where i am teaching building material 
uh, there I teach like this everything I teach I teach in details Brumport from IS code only okay even I teach RCC steel that also I teach everything from IS code I am I am always stuck to IS code okay, because we are staying in India <laughs> okay so thank you very much it was nice interacting with all of you hope you like such uh, like this video now uh, for more videos you can uh, download the Baidu's exam prep app okay and in case of any help okay you can always contact me this is my number Okay. Huh. And uh, more session can be you can study from me. If you want to understand things in such simplistic manner, you can study from me. I I I like IS code. I I am I am good in decoding the IS code. Okay. Thank you very much. Then see you in some other lecture. Thank you very much.